recorded. Today I'd be harvesting some laptop batteries. As a matter of fact, it's only three packs. But why I am doing this, a friend of mine called me when he saw I was harvesting some batteries and he told me he didn't understand what I was doing. In this pack, there are some batteries like this 18650s and also in power tools you get the same batteries in power tools so what i'm doing is collecting these 18650s because I want to do a power wall <clears throat> which is an inverter build a big enough battery pack to run an inverter instead of using car batteries These batteries are found in power banks. What you use to charge your phone, you would either get that type or you would get some bigger ones like this. I don't have one on hand. But what I'm doing is collecting these batteries, which down here, it's kind of harder to get batteries. So this is what I'm doing with the batteries. When you see, I have the packs in front of me. you have to be very careful when opening the batteries any wrong move if you puncture one of the batteries you're in for trouble which it could catch a fire, it could explode. You could lose your finger. So you have to be very careful. Since I doesn't want the shell again, This is what inside the pack looks like. To get out the battery, you use a plastic. This is it. 
this is the BMS this board knows when the battery is filled or should I say have enough charge and it would automatically stop the process so right now what I'm going to do is this one has a ribbon and not wires but when you if you harvest in and you cut in make sure you cut one cable at a time or one if it have wires make sure you cut one and try not to make it touch to cause a spark this is the BMS that's the brain of the battery now this is positive the positive is the side with the ring the negative doesn't have any ring at the bottom so all where you see the ring that's the positive side to move the nickel strip you could either cut it or try to remove it and gently No, you have to be very careful because these spikes when you move the nickel strip it's very sharp you would cut it with your wire cutters or just knock it I'm trying to save the nickel strip.
when removing the nickel strip at the top if it doesn't have that ring you have to be very careful because this here is positive and that whole um that whole thing here is uh, negative the entire housing is negative the positive is only here so once you take out this white it has another another one You see this whole thing here is negative that top here the button top is positive that is negative if you notice how close it is so if you take if that touches here it would either it would spark not either it would spark and you would be in big trouble now as this come out you have to be very careful because if you put it down and it touch metal it would also spark now it could catch a fire so you have to be very very careful when dealing with these 18650 batteries it is a nice hobby but it's also quite dangerous I do repair power tools, packs, change the battery in them,
when taking out this glue you have to be very careful don't damage the shell or should I say the sleeve if you damage the sleeve you'd have to place a new one back only just for safety sake this is the negative side so there is not much danger down here there are times when peeling off the nickel strip it would be welded so hard that it would make a hole at the bottom of the negative end the positive end is secure because it has a button It's a button top. Well, if you notice, that's a button top. So when you peel the nickel strip, if it's welded hard, it would make a hole in this, but it won't damage your battery. But here, you have to be very careful. If it's welded harder, it would make a hole here and the hole will go through and the chemical will start leaking out so that you have to be very very careful when you're taking out the nickel strips The other two, I'll take it off camera because I don't want to bore you all. So let me test. One fourteen. they're very low I'll put them on charge so this is it for this uh, video the others I'll take them off camera you have to be very careful when 
dealing with these 18650s where your PPE of course I don't have gloves but I do have uh, glasses on my eyes if you find this video was helpful please like comment subscribe click on the bell icon so you'll be notified of further videos everything I use in this video I would have a link in the description below if you purchase from my link I'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you goodbye until the next one